morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about or read about, or, for, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, please call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. And ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can change lives in a very fundamental way by helping people get healthy. Plus, you can make some money at the same time. Call 866-735-2470 or... You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team and order Longevity products off of my blog, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And also, if you want to check out our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at our retinol 5% gel made with 5% retinol and lots of vitamin C, primo vitamin C. No fillers, no waxes. No emulsifiers, no silicons, no oils, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of my Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We're going to spend some time here talking about fiber in general and also as it relates to the high-fat low-carbohydrate diet, the ketogenic diet. There's a very important relationship between fat and fiber. And if you are going to go high fat, it's probably a good idea to make sure you're getting your fiber too. And there's several reasons for this. For one thing, fiber can stick to fats and that improves the body's ability to eliminate it. And it also helps to lower blood fat. Sometimes when we eat a lot of fat, our blood fats can go up, particularly particularly if we're dealing with liver problems. If you're diabetic, your blood fats are usually elevated as well. Or if you're pre-diabetic, or if you have any blood sugar problems, then fiber can help you there. Fiber also has an ability to slow down the release of sugar from foods. If you're eating whole foods that contain sugar, you're better off than if you eat processed foods, fiberless foods that contain sugar, the fiber can slow down the release of the sugar. So if you've been told that you have high blood sugar, you're pre-diabetic, or if you have high blood triglycerides, which is another way of saying high blood fats, using fiber supplements as well as getting more fiber foods, veggies, seeds, beans, even fruits. I'm not a big fan of fruits, as you probably know, although there is some nutritional value, certainly. But the way you want to get your, if you're going to uh, in, indulge your sweet tooth, fruits are definitely the way to do it because they do contain fiber, which slows down the release of sugar. Fiber is also important for supporting a healthy 
microbiome, the universe of bacteria that live in our gut that give us so many health benefits, help us digest our food, fight cancer, help us process and eliminate excessive hormones, and they also help us process and use our fats, fiber, acts to create a healthy microbiome and the microbiome those gut bacteria can actually munch down on fiber and release very important chemicals something called short chain fatty acids scfas are released by bacteria as they munch down on the fiber that we eat and these scfas these short chain fatty acids are super important for mental health for the health of our digestive tract and as we are going to be talking about later on in the coming days these short chain fatty acids that are released from fiber as bacteria eat them, these short chain fatty acids also play a very important role in the ketogenic diet. We'll be talking about that in the coming days. Fiber, as I say, supports the health of the intestine. It also helps our bile work better, which means it's going to have benefits for the liver. If you're dealing with fatty liver disease, you wanna make sure you're getting enough fiber. If you're dealing with uh, with any bile problems, if you've had a gallbladder removed, you probably would be, you'd benefit by uh, you probably would benefit by using a fiber supplement or make sure you're making sure you're getting more fiber from your food and of course all of this all of the benefits that fiber has when it comes to helping the body process fat is going to support the ketogenic diet yesterday we talked about how fiber comes in three main types, soluble fiber, insoluble fiber, and then a third type of fiber that is just starting to get some pub, just starting to get some publicity. It's called resistant fiber or resistant starch. Soluble fiber, as the name implies, dissolves in water. It's soluble in water, and it can be used for all kinds of digestive health issues, including constipation, as well as loose stools and diarrhea. Yesterday we said soluble fiber is, it's the only thing I know of, it probably is the only thing you can use that helps you with both, both types of uh, intestinal problems, both diarrhea and constipation, which is kind of cool, kind of neat. It helps, uh, helps uh, swell up the stool so you have more bulk, so you can pass it through, pass, your, uh, pass the stool through more effectively if you're constipated, and it also mops up or sucks up water and forms a gel, so it can help you if you're dealing with loose stools or diarrhea. The most complex organic molecule on Earth is actually a type of soluble fiber. It's something called cellulose which is a structural component of plant cells. Cellulose fiber makes up a large part of wood, almost 50% probably, probably 40 to 50% of wood is made up of cellulose. 90% of cotton is made up of cellulose. And if you want a good visual image of what cellulose is, think of cotton. Those little, uh, those kind of fibery strands are largely made up of cellulose. Termites and wasps can munch down on wood cellulose and turn them into hives and mounds to live in. Human beings can turn cellulose into paper and paperboard for packaging and for books and for printing. Cellulose is powerful, powerful stuff. It's abundant stuff. Its chemical structure makes it very strong and very resilient. If you, wanna, if you want proof, visual proof of how powerful cellulose is, just check out a redwood tree. If you live in California, you know what I'm talking about. There's these huge, humongous, powerful redwood trees in Northern California, and you just you just look at them and you're blown away. I remember taking a trip to Northern California with my mom, and she was she couldn't believe it. I mean, she kept taking pictures, and she was just astounded, as as I was, as anybody would be when you see these things. And much of that strength, much of the power that is associated with tr redwood trees or any trees, is derived from cellulose. Cellulose, as I say, is pretty reactive. It combines with things the same way that it dissolves in water. It com can combine with other chemicals. And in fact, cellulose is actually a raw material for the production of various synthetics. Plastic wrap is a type of cellulose. It's technically plastic wrap. It's called cellophane, cell for cellulose. And it's actually a, 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 a synthetic product that's derived from, from wood fiber, from cellulose. Rayon, the same way. When cellulose is mixed with nitric acid and sulfuric acid, it can actually form something called nitrocellulose, which is super explosive stuff. It's called gun cotton. And cellulose also produces something called celluloid, which is used in, or used to be used to make movies. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll okay, we're back on The Bright Side. Eight. 
844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, anything we're talking about today, or if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, we especially love hearing success stories, 844-236-6010. Is our number on the bright side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you miss a program, we've got archives at benfuchsarchives.com as well as brightsideben.com. We also have a search engine that you can search if you're looking for a particular subject or if you want to review something or if you have a client or, or a uh, friend or family member that you want to direct to some good health information, go to benfuchsarchives.com or brightsideben.com. For you guys who are interested in super high-end, active, medicinal strength, pharmaceutical skin health products, yes, skin health, not skin care, but skin health products, you want to know about our truthtreatments.com, truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com, our truth retinol 5% gel, as well as our truth balm, truth omega-6 healing cream and truth serum if you're dealing with... Uh, accelerated aging of the skin, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, acne. You want our Truth Retinol 5% Gel. Most folks are getting results within one or two doses. Yesterday we talked to my buddy, Dr. Drew, who noticed his wrinkles were disappearing. Now, I knew that retinol will help help uh, 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 pre prevent further wrinkling, and I also knew that you could help diminish the appearance of fine lines, but come to find out, our Truth 5% Retinol Gel, according to Dr. Drew yesterday, his wrinkles are disappearing, which is pretty darn cool. Not only do you get our retinol, but not only do you get retinol in our Truth 5% Retinol Gel, but you also get a whole bunch of premium vitamin C. You can check out all our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. We're talking about fiber, soluble fiber, specifically something called cellulose, which is the most abundant organic compound on earth. It's used in, ha, has all kinds of industrial uses for building houses to making paper to making cellulose or uh, uh, plastic wrap and celluloid for the movies. It used to be uh, uh, an explosive material called gun cotton. You don't see it. It's not used anymore, really. But back in the day when explosives were, f were first being developed, a guy named Schoenbein spilled some nitric acid on his table and he mopped it up he wiped it up with his with his cotton apron and hung the thing up to dry and it exploded and thus was uh, the discovery of gun cotton which is a combination of the cellulose that's found in cotton along with nitric oxide it was used for blasting things back in the day we use a cellulose compound in pharmacy called flexible colloidin if you take uh, cellulose and you mix it up with some acetone uh, you can form this material called colloidin and then you can add some it's really it's kind of a sticky substance it's got a jelly sticky quality to it and we used to mix salicylic acid in there to make wart medicine in fact a lot of wart remover uh, medicines that you get over the counter are based in this cellulose derivative called flexible colloidin used to treat warts and deposit salicylic acid on the wart. I think compound W is salicylic acid in colloidin. One of my all-time favorite sources uh, or types of soluble fiber is something uh, called beta-glucan, which is a type of cellulose. Beta-glucan is unbelievably powerful, and the fact that it's just plain old cellulose is really amazing. When I started, uh, started my skin uh, skin formulation career when I started my skincare business, there was a, uh, a company in Texas that had figured out that this beta glucan that was produced from yeast, this is simply a type of cellulose, it was produced from yeast, had really cool anti aging benefits for the skin. And I started to do some research. I remember trying to get this beta glucan from this guy in Texas who had patented it. And uh, he wanted something like $800 a gram, this is probably 1991, for the beta glucan that he was deriving from yeast. And he had some story about how, oh, Oh, his yeast derived beta glucan is better than any other beta glucan and better, better than any other cellulose. And I don't know if he was, I don't know if he was kidding or I don't know if he was selling me a bill of goods, but I wasn't going to pay $800 for the stuff. And so I did some research and I looked around and I found that you can get beta glucan anywhere. Beta glucan is unbelievably available, as would make sense, considering it's one of the most abundant compounds on earth. It's very, very available and it's super medicinal. 
it's un, one of the best all-time healing, uh, topical healing remedies you could ever use for, for uh, acne or for uh, uh, wounds, for uh, wounds, that won't heal, wounds that won't heal, for, for cuts, for scrapes. It's got sun protection properties, and it's anti-aging and anti-wrinkle, which is really cool considering it's so abundant. It's found everywhere, really. Bacteria make beta-glucan, yeast make beta-glucan, fungus make beta-glucan, plant cells make beta-glucan. It's thought that the medicinal properties that have long been attributed to mushrooms, particularly the anti-cancer properties that have been attributed to mushrooms, are at least partially related to the fact that mushrooms and funguses make lots of beta-glucan. So technically speaking, beta-glucan is like all cellulose, it's just a long chain of glucose molecules. What makes beta-glucan different from ordinary glucose is, or ordinary cellulose, I should say, is it's got a kind of weird structure, sort of bent a little bit. Cellulose is typically a long, straight chain. Beta-glucan has got little bends in it. And the fact that it's got these little bends in it make it less available as a source of sugar or as a source of energy, but more available or more uh, appropriate as a medicinal element. Without getting into too much chemistry, the beta part of the beta-glucan refers to the shape of the chain. Glucans are just long chains, long, long straight chains of glucose. The beta part refers to the fact that it's got a little tweak to it. So beta-glucan is like a long chain of, sh of uh, glucose molecules, a little kind of bend in it. In any case, once these glucose pieces are connected into this long chain, you can't really use it for energy. At least we can't use it for energy. However, bacteria can use it for energy. And uh, certain animals that contain bacteria, as we said yesterday, certain animals that have bacteria that live in the gut, ruminant animals, sheep and, and goats and um, giraffes, and other animals that they call ruminants, uh, I think I think uh, donkeys. I don't know if do no donkeys aren't ruminants. Anyway, these ruminant animals can can uh, process cellulose and release energy and and take advantage of it. We can't, uh, but we can sure get a lot of benefits from beta glucan. Beta glucan is one of the greatest ingredients you could put in a skincare product to protect you from the sun and environmental assaults. Over the past couple of years, uh, researchers have shown that there's a lot of anti-aging benefits, for, uh, skin anti-aging benefits for beta glucan. Probably the most dramatic and well-known properties of beta-glucan is its anti-cancer properties. If you're dealing with cancer issues, you'd probably be smart to use a little bit of beta-glucan. Longevity's got a beta-glucan product which, uh, whose name escapes me at the moment. I'll have to do some research on that, and I'll get that for you when we come back from our next break. Uh, according to Dr. Russell Blaylock, beta-glucan activates the body's anti-cancer cells, something called natural killer cells. He says... Uh, that beta-glucan has, quote, significant effects on tumor growth in animal models, unquote. Beta-glucan upregulates and stimulates the activity of these natural killer cells, which is a class of cells that are maybe the most, I don't say the most, but one of the most important components in the body's anti-cancer weaponry. These natural killer cells have been shown to control the growth of tumors both locally and also to help slow down metastases of of uh, cancers. According to a 2003 article published in the journal Cancer Research, beta-glucan also acts as a secondary treatment for cancer. And this is, this is according to the medical model. They say it can significantly enhance the therapeutic effects of chemotherapy drugs. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll take a break and come back on the Bright Side right after this. We are back on the Bright Side. I'm pharmacist, pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. We're talking to cellulose and fiber and beta-glucan. Our number, by the way, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. Um, I'm gonna con I'll finish up. I got a, lot, a little more I want to say about beta-glucan, sp uh, specifically beta-glucan in the skin. I've been using it, as I mentioned, in my skincare formulations for going on 28 years or so since I first heard about it uh, back in the well, probably see how long, about 25 years since I heard, first heard about it in 1990, 1991. And I've uh, been loving beta-glucan. You can get beta-glucan beta as a supplement. Longevity's got a couple of products, RVB 300 and RYL Beta 500. These are Longevity products made by a company called Restart Your Life. Uh, and uh, beta-glucan is just, it, it's used as an anti-cancer treatment. I don't want to, I'm not going to go so far as to say, uh, 
you know, you could just you can deal with your cancer by just using beta-glucan, but certainly it's a great way to protect yourself from getting cancer. And as I was saying before we went to our break, according to Dr. Uh, Russell Blaylock, who, who's, uh, he's a pretty sharp dude. I don't agree with everything he talks about, but I, uh, I like a lot of his stuff. Anyway, Russell Blaylock says that uh, beta-glucan can have a significant effect on tumor growth in animal models. Before we went to break, I was mentioning how an article in the Journal of Cancer Research talks about using beta-glucan as what's called an adjuvant treatment. That is a secondary treatment that can enhance the effects of primary chemotherapy treatment. So if you are, God forbid, dealing with cancer and you're on chemotherapy, you might want to consider getting some RYL beta-500 or RVB-300, which is made with resveratrol and vitamin C in addition to beta-glucan. These are longevity products. And they're available uh, from a company called Restart Your Life, which is a longevity company. And you can find out all about it by checking the longevity website or talking to your longevity rep if you have not, uh, if you have not heard of the stuff. RVB 300 and RYL Beta 500. These are beta glucan uh, supplements that you can get from longevity. All right. So tomorrow we'll talk some more about the skin and beta glucan. I'll tell you about a really neat way that you can make yourself a nice, refreshing skin cancer protectant for when you're out laying out in the sun. If you like, if you enjoy the sun and you want to lay out in the sun, but you are, are concer concerned about the uh, accelerated aging that sometimes uh, that has been associated with too much sun, uh, I'm going to teach you how or tell you how that you, you can leverage beta-glucan, use the anti-cancer power of beta-glucan uh, when you're laying out. We'll talk about that tomorrow on the Bright Side. A couple of, couple of interesting articles here that I, uh, a couple of articles that I got yesterday that I thought were interesting. Uh, this one is uh, uh, from the University of Eastern Finland. I don't think I read this yesterday. I hope I didn't. Antipsychotic medications linked to increased risk of pneumonia in persons with Alzheimer's disease. Again, this highlights the idea that you cannot use drugs without expecting to get some kind of non-medicinal toxicity or side effect. We call them side effects, you guys, but they're not side effects. When you call them a side effect, when you, when you take a medication and you say, oh, I got a side effects, or that medication has side effects, or what kind of side effects do I get? We, it, there's an implication there that it's kind of accidental. It's an oopsie sort of thing. You know, you take your, you take your antipsychotic medication for, uh, for uh, uh, Alzheimer's disease or whatever psychosis you have, and oops, you get an increased risk of pneumonia, or oops, you get an increased risk of dry mouth and dry eyes, or oops, oops you get an increased risk of movement disorders. All of these have been associated with antipsychotic meds, but it's not an oops. It's how the medicine works, the so-called medicine. You can't just drug out or poison or shut down or suppress one part of the body without expecting to get toxicity somewhere else. That's not how drugs work. So these aren't side effects, they're effects. And that's what we should call them, not side effects. Side effects implies that they're accidental and they just happen. Effects tells you that that's the way these things work. It's an effect of antipsychotic medication to increase the risk of pneumonia. It's an effect of statin drugs to cause problems with your muscles. It's an effect uh, of chemotherapy, uh, chemotherapy medication to cause digestive problems. Drugs have effects. It's a, an effect of your beta blocker and your calcium channel blocker to cause uh, fatigue and lethargy and lack of libido. It's an effect of prednisone to cause anxiety and jitteriness and insomnia. That's the way we want to look at it, and when we understand that they're not side effects, they're effects, it may make us take pause before we just assume that, oh, I'm going to take this drug because the doctor told me to. What are the effects of the drug? Not what are the side effects, what are the effects of the drug? All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Let's go to my buddy Mario in New Jersey. Good morning, Paisan. What's going on? Hey, Paisan, what's up? <laughs> How you doing, Mario? Good to talk to you. So let me set this up for let too. me set this up for the listeners, okay? Mario's a buddy yeah. of mine, and I've known him now for probably I don't know five or six years, and yeah. I, uh, uh, met Mario, a, a fellow New Jerseyite. And so I always love when I hear somebody's from New Jersey, I just connect. You know what I'm saying, Mario? There's something about yeah, us, no. Jersey. We're not New Yorkers. There's something about Jersey. You know, yeah. it's real. It's a down-to-earth place. Would you say, Mario? Definitely, definitely. 
That's, that's the way I like to describe New Jersey. It's, we're down to earth, even if we talk a little funny, some of us. Anyway, so uh, Mario, uh, Mario was uh, studying nutrition when I first started talking to him a few years ago, and he finally got his, uh, what, what's the, what was the degree you got officially, Mario? Um, I have a bachelor's in complementary alternative medicine complimentary on alternative medicine and he knows a thing or two about nutrition and we talked periodically yesterday mario called me and he told me that he lost 30 pounds on the ketogenic diet and i said mario you got to come on the radio and tell folks how you did it so t- talk to us you lost 30 pounds which you didn't necessarily need to lose but i saw that picture of you and you are looking wow. good my friend well i look at now i definitely did need to lose it um because i've been a gym rep most of my life and um you know, I, I love to work out. I'm into bodybuilding, and uh, my inspiration was Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the day. So uh, that's way back in the day. You're dating yeah, yourself. Yeah, exactly. So that that was my inspiration of being into bodybuilding, and I always worked out. And I, you know, I worked at the gym, and I was a, a personal instructor. And did you do uh, contests? No, I never got into the contest. And you know why? Because I always, because when it came down to the real finite uh, dieting end. I could never really get it all together to get really, really shredded. So, you got to I mean, be majorly was, motivated. Majorly, you got to be majorly motivated. But um, you know what? Not that I'm not considering doing it in my old age. So I definitely. <laughs> How old are you? How old did you say? Forty-seven. Forty-seven now. Yeah. Forty-seven. Okay. All right. So, so you lost. You got. The, did you start to gain the weight like in your forties, where you you could eat whatever you want in your thirties, and then all of a sudden you start to gain some poundage in your forties? Is that what happened to you? Because that's well, what happened to me. Uh, well, you know, I would say that um, most of my life I always dealt with going up and down with weight. And it always was due to um, dieting. And when you would, um, when, when you would like, do the low-fat, no-carbs, and, and protein diet. The paleo know, you, thing. You, paleo diet, yeah. you're talking? I'm talking about, yeah, do low-fat, no, you know, high-protein, no-carbs, just, you know, vegetable for carbs. But then I would freak out and get nuts after, like, say, 12 weeks, four months. Um, I could handle it, and then I would just fall off the wagon, and I would start to binge on sugar again. Now, when you went, um, well, hang on, because we got to take a break. So don't go away, Mario. I want you to finish up when we come back, okay? Okay. All right. If you're on hold, stay there. We'll get to you when we come back on Pharmacist Pen. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Back on the right side, Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to, oh, I just dropped Mario. Hey, call back, Mario. I apologize. I just dropped you. I want, to, I want you to tell us how, uh, shucks, I want you to tell us how you uh, lost the weight here. All right, I'm, let's go to uh, George and Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl, what's going on? Mario, call me back. Good morning, Cheryl. Hi. Hey. Hi, Ben. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Good to talk to you. Uh, fine. Uh, yeah. Um a friend of mine just called me and wanted to know what to do about her mother who had a bladder infection, but they found E. coli. That's the in bladder her. infection. That'll do it. That, um, is that it? I mean, is that just a normal thing? She just, we can't figure out where she well, gets E. coli. E. coli is a coli is an intestine. You know, you hear about E. coli all the time as a... Uh, as a, a source of food poisoning, and it is a source of food poisoning because it lives in the gut, but it's not supposed to live anywhere else. It does fine in the gut, but once it starts to get into other places in the body, you can it can be fatal, actually. So it is a gut bacteria, uh, and it's supposed to stay there. If you have a bladder infection, it's not unusual that there'll be some E. coli in the bladder, and because E. coli in the bladder is not a good thing. Uh, right. urinary tract infection, same deal. So it's not unusual for E. coli to be a source of this. So you want to do a couple things. This is, this is your uh, friend's mom, you said? Yeah, I think she's in her 80s. Okay, well, that's not unusual either. Uh, okay. Here's the thing. When you're dealing with a health challenge like that, it's hard enough to deal with it if you're young and you're strong and you're vital and you're motivated. But by the time you're in your 80s, I find that most people don't want to do everything they need to do. I'm not saying everybody. I'm not making a blanket assessment here. But I find that when people are in their 80s, they're not necessarily willing to change their whole life. So with an E. coli bladder type infection, you could treat it acutely. That is to treat the symptoms, to get rid of it right away. And then you can treat the long-term kinds, the causes really. So let's talk about acutely in terms of taking care of the pain. Uh, alkalinizing the urine with baking soda is a good strategy. 
There is also a sugar called mannose, M-A-N-N-O-S-E, a powder sugar that you, it's not really sweet sugar, but it's a type of sugar that you put in water and you drink it. Uh, some folks get benefits from Lugol solution, drinking a couple drops of Lugol solution. And these are all ways of killing the bacteria. However, uh, if the problem is still there, it's going to come back. So killing the bacteria is not a great, uh, there's also, by the way, an over-the-counter remedy called Azo Standard that some people like That's to what use. I told her to, yeah, I told her to take that. Yeah, azo standard, phenazopyridine. These are all mechanisms for killing the bacteria, which in the short run, you know, might might help. Baking soda works by alkalinizing the urine to relieve some of the, the discomfort. Right. But uh, killing the bacteria may work, but, you know, it, the likelihood is that it's going to come back. Usually there's some kind of digestive health issue, surprise, surprise, associated with these, right. kinds, of, with these kinds of issues. And it's very unusual, rare, in fact, hardly ever does it occur that somebody's in their 80s and they don't have some degree of digestive dysfunction. So getting her on good bacteria can help balance out the bad bacteria. We've talked about that a lot. Get her on the nightly right. essence from longevity. Have her using fermented right. foods and vegetable juices. Anything she can do to support the health of the gut. Elimination diet. That is where you, where you eliminate foods that cause problems. Have her fast for a couple of days. That may relieve the discomfort and may uh, uh, give her intestine or digestive tract a break. Use the Swero V to do a Swero V cleanse. Use the Amasai and the... Um, and the probiotic enriched cheese from Jordan Rubin. Support gut health is basically your, your most important strategy in addition okay. to treating it acutely uh, with uh, Lugol solution and, and azo standard and uh, alkalinizing the urine, et cetera. Uh, you, working on digestive health is your main strategy for that. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought, but I figured she wouldn't do that because of her age. But that's, um, that typically happens. I'll pass it on. Yeah, I, I, okay. I deal with a little 92 year old guy. But listen, uh, Tell me something about shark cartilage. Love is it. it. Yes. I cartilage too. in general. You and don't need necessarily shark cartilage, although sharks, as it turns out, are very medicinal medicinal animals. Interestingly, in nature, the more primitive an animal is, that is, the longer its evolutionary history, and sharks have a very long evolutionary history, like hundreds of millions of years long, uh, the, right. the longer a plan an animal has been alive on the planet, uh, you know, uh, speaking from an evolutionary standpoint, the more medicine its body makes, which is something very interesting. It may be that the fact that some of these animals are so long-lived, sharks can live a really long time, uh, 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 snakes can live a long time, lizards can live a long time. These slow-moving reptiles are loaded with medicine. Their bodies are very medicinal. Sharks' bodies are very medicinal. Uh, sh we, get, we get medicines from the liver of shark. We get skin care ingredients from the livers of shark. The cartilage in shark has wonderful anti-cancer property, or supposedly has anti-cancer like properties. Sounds like their only problem is man. <laughs> Uh, they would. You know what? I don't think sharks die of anything, to tell you the truth. They, they probably die of old age after long enough, but they don't really get a lot of diseases. Although, as it turns out, sharks do get cancer. Uh, yeah, they do. The, I just read that. Yeah, yeah, read yeah they that. get and cancer. What the book about is, mercury? What about what? mercury? That was mercury. Uh, being contaminated mercury? with mercury. Yes. Oh, well, I see. Contaminated with mercury. Um, you know... It's a problem. The bigger the animal, the more mercury it's going to have. That's a bigger problem. But cart the mercury will tend to settle in the fatty parts of the body, and sharks don't have a lot of fat. So cartilage doesn't really absorb toxins, although probably a little bit, but not, certainly not like fatty fish would. Uh, although sharks eat fatty fish, and they probably get some mercury, so uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much in the cartilage. Although I will tell you, you don't need shark cartilage necessarily for anti-cancer and, and general anti-aging and health benefits. Ordinary cartilage will work as well. Uh, glucosamine works. Bone soup works. You can get uh, type 2 chicken cartilage supplements. That'll work. Uh, so you don't necessarily need shark cartilage, although, as I was saying, sharks do have a reputation for being very medicinal. So it may be that shark cartilage is a little bit better, but I, I don't think so as, I, as I'm uh, well, contemplating here. Okay. Cartilage is just cartilage, and I don't know that shark cartilage would be any different, although I, okay. I probably should look that up. Right. Anything okay. else? Okay, well, I did a little bit. No, that's it. I sure appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Ben. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day. Good to talk to you. All right, got Mario back. I'm sorry I hung up on you there, Mario, but now we only have a few minutes. So how did you lose 30 pounds? Okay, so anyway... Um, I, I did the ketogenic. I, you know, I was listening to you talk about it, and you know, it kept coming around in my research about doing it. So uh, when I finally buckled down and tried it, and I read that book uh, that you recommended, the Coconut Ketogenic Diet. Okay. 
Um, I started following that, and I started using more coconut oil and the butter. You know, I was always using butter and stuff, but um, I really got fine detailed, and I got rid of the high fat is what helped me deal with those sugar cravings. And that's what I want to tell anybody who's dealing with sugar cravings. They got to get on a ketogenic diet because nice. it really alleviates those. And I was one to always fall off the wagon after, like, stressing for, like, four months on a diet. And then you have your first taste of sugar. It's almost like crack. You go right back to it. Wow. And so, um, like, Right away? You could tell right away as soon as you? Oh, yeah. Like, you know, once you taste the sugar, then you're like, oh, I can have a little bit. And then you have a little bit more, and then you have a little bit more, and you just keep adding and adding, and it goes back to, the, to your diet again. So, um you know, being Italian, we love cannolis and pastries and pasta, so it's hard to stay away from all that. So <laughs> Tell me you're not eating the pasta, Mario. I have not been eating pasta at all. And, oh, my um, gosh. That's amazing, I folks. Know, I know, but I do understand that uh, from doing the diet that every once in a while, like every like two, three weeks, you should throw a little like monkey wrench into your diet so you get a Mix it up a little? Again. Yeah, so you get a boost again. So I noticed that we get stagnant and not lose actual pounds. And I was like, all right, but I looked good, but I, was, I wasn't losing weight. I was stuck at a point, and then I would binge on something I liked. Like, me not binge, just have one meal of what I wanted to eat. And uh, after that, it would, it would, like, spark up my diet again, and, and it would, I would start burning fat again. So, um, and I, I, I want to say one thing. I have not even exercised in the months that I've been doing wow. the ketogenic. Get, okay, so we're going to run out of time here, Mario. Real quick, what's a day? What's a, a typical me? A typical day's intake of food for for you right, now well, that you're ketogenic? Well, well, I do. Uh, I try to do the intermittent where I don't eat until like later into the day, like eleven, twelve o'clock. I'll have Got my it. first meal, and my first meal is usually now a, a smoothie. I make myself. Uh, what's a smoothie? You know, Descri- define a smoothie. Tell me well, what the smoothie. For me, for me, it's um, I use almond milk, coconut oil. Um, I use uh, whey protein. I use three eggs raw, and um, I put uh, I actually put osteo FX in it, and I put uh, flax seeds. And uh, what else do I put in there? Uh, how, how long does that last you? How long during the day until you eat until you want to eat again? Real quick, we got I want to eat minute. again after after that meal. If I feel I need to snack at all between that and dinner. I'll have some nuts. I'll snack on cashews. I'll snack on almonds. I'll Got it. And quick, it. quick dinner, real quick. I'm going to run dinner out of time. Dinner is definitely protein, but I'll eat, you know, grass-fed beef, uh, chicken or fish. fish. Um, and I'll have vegetables with salad with avocados and olive oil. You know, awesome. Uh, and you're not suffering, and you lost 30 pounds. Mario, I got to go. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for your call, brother. Good to talk to you. Okay, we'll talk again soon. Talk to you soon, all right? Man. All right. That's my paisan, Mario, health coach in New Jersey. Lost 30 pounds on the ketogenic diet. I'm telling you, folks, the things you hear on this program, The Bright Side, are going to change your life. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.